I believe her heart was stopped when she arrived at the hospital. And I stated that before I think she was dead when she arrived at 1225. Michelle died as a result of cardiovascular disease um, with hypertension or high blood pressure and myocarditis or uh, inflammation of the heart. I amended the cause of death um, in this case and added, in addition to cardiovascular disease, um, the possibility that drug, and tox drug toxicity may have played a role as well. I didn't feel I had enough to be able to justify a certification of homicide. Um, I think the lack of symptomatology and the lab work that we have available make it very unlikely that her myocarditis was severe enough to present her a significant risk of cardiac death. Uh, my opinion was that uh, Michelle died as a result of drowning, and uh, in addition to that, she had some uh, drugs on board. I remember saying in some place that in my opinion, they are not a cause of death, but they might played some role. I did not form an opinion on the manner of the death, and I, me I mentioned that the manner of death is undetermined. I mentioned this at my report. Does the signs prove the doctor killed his wife? Welcome to our recreated death scene. The After Dark jury's here. They're going to give us a verdict by the end of the program. After Dark defense is here to argue the signs. The After Dark prosecution also ready to go. Oh, we've got someone at our door. Come on in. Also joining us, human behaviorist Simone Bien joining us. Quick question for you, Simone. Yeah. That 911 call that Dr. McNeil made, yeah. what did you think of that? Absolutely implausible. He's supposed to be a doctor, even though he's a fake doctor. It's totally implausible. <laughs> you are trained to act cool under pressure un unless people will die. Oh, look, that already happened. All right, so speaking of dying, let's get to the science of all this, ladies and gentlemen. And... Um, Three different medical examiners, all called by the prosecution, giving their opinion on cause of death and manner of death. Cause of death, Dr. Maureen Frick, the original um, ME, cardiovascular disease with hypertension and myocarditis, natural, deems it natural, not homicide, but natural. Dr. Todd Gray, he testified in court. He said cardiovascular disease with possible drug toxicity. He had an additional test that was done. He said it was undetermined. Dr. Joshua Perper, you know him, he said drowning with drugs contributing to death, no evidence of heart disease, and he had no opinion. He says there were a lot of suspicious elements in this case. Mm -hmm. The science, what does the science say? Not guilty. Nothing. The science tells you nothing. None of these experts can tell you anything about a homicide, and it is entirely the prosecution's burden to prove that it was a homicide. Well, wait a minute. Mike said said it best when he talked about the lividity. That's, That's science. science. It's pathology, yes, for goodness it is. sake. Thank and you. you know what? It goes with the prosecution side. Yeah. But it's science that doesn't yeah. prove homicide. It just proved that she died, which we already know. Yeah, now, the other part of this you have to remember, though, McNeil is a doctor. Correct. Right. And so who did he who, talk to initially? The initial medical the examiner. The initial examiner, and it was like a rushed autopsy without the whole toxicology Correct. done. Right. Why would he do that? Well, it doesn't matter. We, at the end of the day, we've got three esteemed doctors, none of whom find that it was homicide. And if the doctors didn't find homicide, how can you find murder? You just can't do it. That's right. speculation, exactly right. but, but you don't that's have all they accidental have. accidental either from these first three right here. You don't have accidental. Right. Undetermined doesn't mean it's not homicide. Exactly. Yeah, I want the jury to jump in on this. Here's a law student right here. He's got some questions. <laughs> my question is I, I actually don't understand either why the three why, we, why do we have three different um, determinations or three different um, medical examiners exam, medical examiners For, the original medical examiner passed away right this one came in took another look at it and also looked at the toxicology, and then they brought in Dr. Perper as an out-of-state hired expert for the prosecution to take a third look at it. You can put but, as many experts yeah. as you want But then that, that invites another question. Why bring in so many doctors, especially when it seems like they're almost shopping, trying to get right. the right answer? They're not yeah. satisfied with what the medical experts yeah. are saying, so they want to shop around until they can find someone who will say that it's a homicide. And they haven't found that person because they can't tell you that. But what confidence can we have in science if you've got three, one dead doctor, three different doctors saying completely different things? That doesn't give me confidence well, in science. And it gives you, know you confidence makes a lot of sense. Think guilty. about this. 
This is a doctor who's accused of murder. Who but a doctor who's accused of murder would have the ability to confuse the situation medically? But right. let's take a look at some more of the experts I want to show you. Here's the toxicologist who said there were four drugs and a metabolite found in the system. The combo of drugs in the system would have suppressed the central nervous system, making physically and mentally impaired. Hmm. You had a cardiologist. This is important. A lack of symptoms for a cardiac death. Hmm.